victim us. It's your boy, Young Cuz. Hey, welcome to the RNF show. Your boy, I got a good one for you today. This one, this chick, this one, this one. <laughs> She a banger. I ain't gonna lie to you. She 35, but KS gotta do what KS got to do. He got to, he got to, you know, level set her back into a proper position because she seems to think because she a banger and she look good that her having these kids is no chink on her armor. And that's a damn lie. I'm good. How are you? Good. How old are you? 35. 35. Okay. What do you think about the topic? Share no share. No, well, especially if you're talking about sharing sexually, absolutely not. There's children. more involved. I have two children. Are you married or are you single? I'm widowed. Sorry to hear that. See, she um, widowed. Yeah, sexually, yeah. You don't get no points off for that. So, you widowed, that's jacked up. My condolences. I mean, I'm not trying to be funny, ladies, but if you guys would just take the time to go study how the how humans work, you'd understand that you don't get seven billion people on the planet with monogamy. You can't, you can't you get, man, ladies, listen, mm -hmm. when have the top 20%, 10%, 5% of any culture of men ever been strictly monogamous? And had only one wife. Everything is. She won't monogamy. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna hold you. She can get that. I mean, different people get different results. Even though she got two kids and all that, I seen worse looking chicks with way more kids and be having to do it all over him. So I ain't going to say it's impossible, but the dude who you looking for, that's the question. Can you get him? Any continent, any monetary system, any system of government, when does it ever happen? That was the norm. Mm. So what okay. I, you ladies are sitting here with this, in, this almost like righteous indignation. She I wouldn't as a then what do you propose? Then what, so if you don't want to share, okay, let's take it your way. How how is your youngest child? Mine's seven. Okay. See, so no bueno. uh, would you like to remarry? Absolutely. Are One day. Boy? Are you a boy? Yes. Um, so arguably, a man has your one, two children, your one job. And you, so he's sharing you with three things right now. You got any pets? Yes. What do you have? A golden retriever. Aww. So a man comes, hey, hey, buddy. Oh. So, so, so if I come through the door and want to holler at you, I'll... he right. Any man coming to you, he got to get on your program. And that ain't what men do. You got to come and fit into your life. You know, you going to work eight hours a day. You get home after work. You got to do homework with the kids and feed them. That's another three hours. That's 11 hours. Then you sleep for eight hours. So that's 19 hours. Then you got to unwind. So that's another two hours. So that's 21 hours. So basically... A man will have approximately one hour a day with this chick. If you could see her every day, right? She she gonna be busy, but one hour a day average per week. So that's about five hours Monday through Friday. Then on the weekends, you know, she gotta do all the other stuff. She got to do the chores and the, you know, running around, getting her hair done, all that shit. So Man, it's a lot. Automatically, I got it's a lot. I, I can't get you. I, you're 40 hours a week. I got to put that in. 
It, but he has 40 hours as well, right? So it kind of washes out. Right. Don't worry about his 40 hours. That's true. Okay. But washes then, out. Hold on. See, I don't like that <laughs> attitude. Because I'm going to with my 40. See, my 40 ends up making sure you don't have to work for it. Period. Well, then he gets my 40. Oh, no, so no, 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 get... You don't, you don't get your 40. The boss gets your 40. <laughs> See, you going to work. So all this, a man going to provide and take care of you, that ain't how, that ain't how it's going to crack. He not going to come in and, and take care of you and your two kids and retire you. And you just get to sit on down. And he gonna take care of all three of y'all. Just don't worry like that no more. I could see if that was his kids or whatever, but that situation, you know, that didn't, you know. My condolences to the dude who he was with, your husband, but now it's a new game. You gonna have to compromise. You're 40. Make sure you can maintain what you have. My 60, make sure you don't have to work anything but 20 going to zero. Because that's what the kind of men I'm talking about. Men who put the time in. I work more, but let's keep it moving. But even if it's just 40, 40 that, okay. that's, that washes out, right? But then okay. you got one, two kids. And those kids require time. And this is a single man with no children? Most men. That means I have to deal with his mama. Bruh. See? Then I'm. You don't need to be out here. This this game ain't for you. This game ain't for you, Tamar. You got to deal with his mama. Don't worry about that man, mama. You worry about the wrong damn thing. I don't know who you dealing with. But you trying to make his mama look like it's equivalent to him having kids. That ain't the same thing. He ain't got to come home every day and do homework with his mama. Okay, so don't try to make a false equivalency, you know, for this man. When we all know that coming home and doing homework with another man, kids suck. It just sucks. I don't know if y'all realize that. It just sucks. You know why? Because it's usually a thankless job most of the time. Probably going to have to deal with his mama if he's a single man and older than me because that's what I would want. Then I would have to share with his mother, no? But not if she's pregnant, right? I mean, no. if she has some shit going on while we his mother. We're doing this mathematically, right? No, okay, man. You just asked about single. How? how? I, no children, I said most men. You going to have to share him with his mother. Well, that don't even make no sense. So you, his mother and you can't exist in the same space at the same time. So when your kids grow up and they get somebody, they spouse going to be like, oh, I know you ain't going to see your mama. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, yeah, God forbid he wants to deal with the person who gave him life. And don't have kids, and then you automatically make your mama's go. That ain't how that works. No. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm trying to figure yeah. out what man okay, talking see, what about. Okay, what I want you ladies to understand is every time I start talking about something, you start talking about things to. She just triggered. You just trying to find something bad about the man because he got you in the corner. Because this hypothetical man that you're talking about, why he got mommy issues? Why the hypothetical man that you're talking about ain't just everything that you're looking for? Because. You have no defense and you can't be humble. Disqualify man. Let's talk about thorough men. Thorough okay. men who have their shit together. Not fuck okay. boys or dumbasses. Right. Okay? Oh, great. Not, can we do that? She That's what I'm it. talking about. That's why he's there with me. Yes. That's why he's the goat. The goat. The goat. The goat. Yeah. Let's do it. About his shit. He still got to okay. show you with your one, two kids. Okay. All right. So does he get 100% of your time? Because after no. his 40 hours, he has, okay, then why should you get 100% of his commitment? Why? Because he has, um, 
Well, it depends because, you know, I come from a Christian value. So usually oh, you don't, God. especially sexually. That's why I asked you about that. No. Because if you're going to share somebody with something sexually. No, no, no. Say it. You look good enough to where you think that the man shouldn't have to go anywhere else. But this man just sat there and told you that this is not a sex thing. It's a time thing. It's a time thing. That's why people with kids usually date people with kids because their time usually aligns, you know. Usually, though, the man don't have the kids with him, so he's usually available in the daytime and the evenings and all of that. Man, it's just, it's, it though, you're going you're gonna to you're gonna have to bring your level on down and see where you at. And go from there. You can't just demand the same shit. You could just demand, you know, you can't do that. Things have changed, lady. What's wrong with you? You can go Old Testament and New Testament. We can go straight back to Abraham and Sarah. Don't do that. Okay. The Bible is the biggest poly argument that I have. Try to go to the Bible. When you know you're not a Christian, don't go on. Let's keep this mathematical. Come on, man. Okay. How many wives? Oh, I have to meet up with my partner. So. Okay, have a good one, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Nice. Man, this is a feelings-based argument for you. So I'm saying the jobs, the jobs wash. You get, you can't give me a hundred percent of your time, but you get a hundred percent of my commitment. Make the math make sense. Okay. A hundred percent of your let's say, let's say you get off work at five o'clock and I want to see you at seven every day. I can't get that she know what you got to put time you should have kids. to break this down. She know the detriment of her raising those kids by herself is to her dating life. She know this. But once again, when you messed up, you got to power through. So I get it. You're going to have to power through and just act like you still, you know, pretty no problems when you miss pretty plenty problems. <clears throat> See, the only way you could be KS is through humble humbleness. You got to humble yourself with this man because he is too on point and he's absolutely correct. The time. The time that it takes for you to raise your kids just cuts all into your dating life, right? It, it's all about the kids first. And all the women going to tell you, my kids come first, which they should. And the women going to tell you that. And since your kids come first and you know this man is going to be behind the kids, the dog, your career, you got to take the kids to their extracurricular activities. You got to clean the house. You got to get your hair done, nail done, eyebrows down, wax shaded. That's a whole weekend work of stuff that you have to do when you do have off days. And then you got a seven year old. So you got to get babysitters, man. It's just, man, it's just a lot. And that just takes away all the attractiveness. That's why you on this show right now. Without them dang on kids, you're not even on this show. You just out living your best life. Man is coming at you left and right. You got time all during the week, the date. You know what I'm saying? You got you got plenty of time for a dude if you don't have the responsibility of having the children. See, it's not that the children are bad, you know, children are your blessing, but the responsibility that goes through week by week and raising those kids. Is what just knocks your knocks your level all the way down. You go from being a banger all the way down. You just a, you are, you're a regular chick. You got regular chick problems, but you still want the outcomes of somebody who light skin and look good and all that. You don't get them outcomes no more. You're gonna have to work a little bit harder right now. Work harder. Work harder. You're going to have to work harder and you're going to have to make more effort and, and make concessions, you know. Make concessions with people, you know. Uh, work with a brother. You're going to have to because he got to work with you. The first I'm going to get you is after the kids are squared away. Okay, granted. All right. But the time between, but the time, so that means that take, where did that time come from? My time. 
So you're saying while you have your time, you want to be entertained with another female. I'm saying yes. you are putting investment into other people. I That's exactly what he's saying. The entitlement of you. The entitlement of you. You want him to sit there and twiddle his thumbs while you live your whole life. I know. I know this personally. Okay. Personally, I've dated a woman where, hey, when I was living local with her, everything was all good. She had kids or whatever, you know what I'm saying? We could kick it, you know, see her for the hour or whatever. And, you know, you live close. You know, it, it, it don't seem as jacked up. But you put some distance in between y'all. Put 15, 20 miles in between y'all. And then it ain't so attractive trying to go over there and drive you know what I mean? You're trying to drive to see her every day. It take an hour to even go and see her. When you get there, she tired. The kids is not sleep. They up being bad, watching TV, playing games, whatever they doing. You know, it's just, uh, man, you can't, you, you got to look at it from the man's point of view. You can't just see things from your lens and be like, yeah, it's still all good. I still look good. I still this. I still that. Well, yeah, I'm, I ain't, you know, I ain't knocking you. But what I'm saying is beyond that physical, trying to mesh your life together with somebody else's, man, it's it's almost impossible. And then you're not going, you're not going to take less and you're going to have standards and all of that stuff, man. You, man, you are making it. Don't make it tough on yourself is all I'm saying. Don't make it tough on yourself. And put investment into other people as well. And then bring why back that, okay, some man, shit that you caught. Okay, ma'am, ma'am, you have it. Think about what I'm saying. Bring you back some shit that you caught. I'm just sitting alone waiting <laughs> for my turn. Instead of him trying to explain to her what he really needed to be saying is, you need to date a guy with kids. Only a man with kids. Because a man without kids is going to feel slighted by you know, your time issue because you have, you know, an entire family already, a prepackaged family that oh, oh, the, the car is already moving. The, it's like trying to jump into a moving car. Now he got to come in here and get on your program. He can't tell you, yeah, be at my house at 10 o'clock tonight. I'm going to do X, Y, Z, or let's go and do this. Let's go do that. Nope, not during the week. Nope, not without a babysitter. Not with all these pre pans There's no spontaneity to it, right? It's just a, it's, a, it's not a drag uh, to you, but imagine being somebody trying to date you. It's just like, man, he got to adjust his entire schedule. And if he can't adjust his schedule to y'all's, then y'all not going to be together. Because you cannot adjust your schedule to his because you have to take the kid to school. They have to eat. They have to do homework. They have to be in bed at this time. They're going to cry. They're going to play. They're going to do all this kid stuff. That stuff can't be negotiated. But you, you think that, eh, I look good. Still all the same. But you look good. Though. I mean, if, if you feel like that, if, if a man feels like he's got to be alone and waiting for your turn, then... That's, okay, man. That what else, okay, man. He's not a man for me. Women that are okay see with that, see, obviously. See, what I, see, instead of just answering the question and saying, "Yeah, that is kind of fucked up," you're still going to try to turn it around <laughs> to some man. See, what I want you to understand <laughs> is your own. Old. A man typically does. When a man comes to get a woman, that's a woman. Especially if we're going to talk about Christians, God gave this instruction to Adam. We're supposed to be in our purpose. That's what we're supposed to be doing. And you're supposed to come along and help us on our purpose to tend the garden. But the way this works, I'm coming to tend your garden. Exactly. Okay. She, she don't get it. But. Ain't no but. There are no buts. Right? And you, you want to be dismissive and say, we well, ain't the man for me. We're going to be with somebody. This everybody. It's all men. Now, what you the first thing you need to do is adjust your attitude. Adjust your attitude. You could be in love with the mirror all you want. 
That don't pay the bills. That don't that don't get nobody to lay next to you at night. Ain't nothing like somebody who got the same knocks as somebody who trash, but just because they look better, thinking that it don't affect them. You got the same baggage. You got the same crap, same baby mama problems as everybody else. So as far as you saying, oh, it ain't the man for me. Going that's why you ain't got no man now. Your baby is seven years old. Man, you finna be, get ready for at least another 11 years of this. At least until when they turn 18. Even then, even when the kid's growing up, they don't get better, it get worse. Kids ain't got no daddy. They get bad and shit. Want to fight you? Beat your ass? <laughs> you try to come over and kick it? Y'all in your business? All in your face? I mean... House all jacked up, little race cars and shit everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got pink eye. Come on, man. Shit is terrible. And then y'all just act like it ain't no big deal. I make $100,000, I meet you, you got all these damn kids, and I ain't got no money. Because I got to come and take on all the responsibilities of everything. And then I ain't even a daddy. First thing come out of the mouth, you ain't my daddy. So you need to cut the crap and just be realistic with yourself. That'll get you further in life than just being arrogant and having an ego for no reason. Because you, you got this undeserved sense of accomplishment. You got undeserved ego. You got unearned ego. You got unearned accomplishment inflation. Now with my being me, me, I would attend back to the same garden because I am a giver, a pleaser, and a that's provider. Fine, like, that's what you're supposed to do. Way, Even, that's what you're supposed to do in my garden. You're supposed to do everything you just said in my garden. Exactly. In my Correct. garden. You no, know, in my garden. <laughs> well, my seeds, my soil, not yours, mine. But in this situation, though, that is what she's supposed to do. But she, she can't do it. So you can't blame her for that. She can't do it. It's too late. All that, what you supposed to do, what you should have did, what could have, would have, would have, would have, all that, that don't matter right now. She can't offer that. She cannot come and be yours. She belongs to her kids and the last dude. Even though he's not there, his legacy lives on. And if the man is not going to come and be on her team and get into her life, and her routine and pay her bills and raise her kids and do her, 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 her. If you not that type of man, this ain't a chick for you. So everything you're going to do, you're supposed to do anyway. It's not over and above. I'm supposed to get that anyway. Okay. Anyways. Anyway. So, and then what you... so stop, stop, stop the man. My garden, mm -hmm. you're going to be a giver or a pleaser. And you're supposed to do that helping me in my garden on my purpose. But Correct. now, the way it is right now, you already have a garden to tend to. So I got a garden right. over here that requires your presence, but you can't because you're investing in your garden and exactly. your project. One big, one big garden. Bruh. No. You, one That's big another garden. man's seed. You want to find somebody and combine your life immediately is what you want. But this shit is going to be hard. That's why you on the internet right now looking for a date, man. This, this is, this ain't easy. When you, you know, some situations you got to kind of maneuver out of with a little humility. And, and that's going to get you on. You know, you got to be like, I, you know, I got these kids, whatever. Let me not be trying to say this man got to make a million dollars and all he got to do all of these wonderful things. And it's just like, dude, you, you want the best, but you're not coming with the best situation. This is not the best package, right? So if you come in with an okay package, you get an okay dude. You come in with a, you know. You need to find somebody to damn help me raise some damn kids. I don't care what you say. It ain't about you. It's about them kids. And men understand that. That's why we know we're going to be behind the kids. You got to walk the dog and cook the meals and do the homework. We ain't mad about that. It's just your disposition. You act like it, that ain't no detriment. 
That's a huge downside. That's huge. You can start out, man, you, 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 I mean, your life story is just, dude, you, you, it's going to be, it's going to be tough to find exactly what you want in the package you want. You can't ask for a man to have crazy requirements when you come in with that old regular hood flim flam. That's another man's garden. How are your children an asset to me? They don't Thank have you. my name. They don't have my lineage. They don't have my DNA. They just get Thank my you. resources. They just get my food fertilizer. They don't get, I don't get the benefit of their bounty. Amen. The goat! That's why, goat. I, mean, that's why I said I want you guys to understand that women are so detached from reality today that this argument was originally about women, single women with no kids, but the women with kids expect your ass. No, but it doesn't matter because 80 years ago, if you're a woman with kids, you would have been happy, assuming you'd have been cool with somebody just considering even being with you because you're supposed to be. Kids not his. They don't get his lineage. All you do is pay. Then when they grow up, they say thanks, but nigga, they ain't good enough. <laughs> you didn't spend all your money and time and all this shit. I mean, it's a good thing. It's a noble thing. You know what I mean? Uh, kids needs daddies and all that shit, but the upside is not good. You got to make that upside good. You got to let go of that, that, that ego and put your package together. And say, no, nah, you know, shit, I want my man in the house. I'm trying to find a husband. And in return of him doing all X, Y, Z, resources, time, energy, raising other man's kids, I'm going to be up doing this. I'm going to be doing that. So you got to have that. You got to have a balance. He doing all of this on this hand, right? You got to have this hand and be like, well, this is what I'm doing. You can't just be like, I look good. <laughs> like, you look good. Man, if you don't sit your ass down. Anyway, man, that's it for me, man. I'm not going to hold you. I'm, I'm going to get up out of here. I mean, go eat me some curry shrimp. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's RNF. Y'all go ahead and subscribe. Help this brother out. I got no, I got no subscribers. Uh, that's all right, though. I'm doing it for love anyway. Man, y'all stay up and uh, watch yourself.